six-player game. I'm so excited. Woot woot! Don't forget you can join the audience at any time. Put on your oxygen tank, because we're going to explore cyberspace. Hi, I'm Todd, and I'll be your tour guide on the internet. Well, every site that isn't blocked because of stupid parental controls. Here's a quick but skippable tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Partyboy7, here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. So, in each round, you'll get a prompt on your device. Go ahead and answer it. Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are, quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to what headline? Oh, I got it. Everybody then votes on whose comment looks the most absurd. I get rewarded for writing the twist, and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. The person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please. I feel so empty inside. Let's start things off at a... Social networking site. Okay, you're getting a prompt on your device. Don't overthink your response. Just follow your gut. Another player's comment has been sent to your device. Twist their words in the funniest way possible. Here goes nothing.
Which of these made you laugh the hardest? Vote now. See who got the points. And here's how the audience felt about things. This is who burned you. They get some points. And you, the victim, get some pity points. Awkward. <laughs> Let's see where everyone stands at the moment. Okay, let's move on. Let's go to, uh... E-commerce site. You're getting another prompt. Go ahead and be candid. This is our safe space. I hope this inspires you. Take this quote out of context so it makes its author look ridiculous. Is anyone else's heart racing right now? Vote for the comment you think looks the most absurd.
And here are the results. Dang, you got played, son. Let's see what that round did to things. Let's switch things up and go to a uh, social media site. Another prompt is headed your way. Now please get to it. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Okay, you knuckleheads, here we go. Do your civic duty and vote now. Here's what people think. Look at this half wit. <laughs> Let's check out the scoreboard, shall we? Let's end things at a photo sharing site. The points are worth double this round, so literally anything can happen. Here is your last prompt.
Okay, it's the last round. Go for the nuclear option if you have to. Oh boy, I can hardly contain my excitement. Okay, go ahead and cast those ballots. Let's see how everybody voted. It all comes down to this. Congratulations! I wish we could stay in this moment forever. But we can't.
To Monster Seeking Monster. I'm your host, Felicia the Faceless. I'll be hosting six nights of ghoulish get togethers where you'll try to convince other players to go out with you by sending them secret messages. Each night, you'll chat with other players before locking in the one person you want to date that night. If that person picks you back, you go on a date and both earn a heart. At the end of the game, the monster with the most hearts wins. Usually. Did I mention you're all secret monsters? Check your devices now to see your secret powers and how you can earn bonus hearts if you put them to good use. Oh, and you can date the audience, which is collectively controlling this player by voting on everything they do. There's no one in the audience yet, but you can join it any time during the game by going to jackbox.tv and using the room code. Until someone joins, the audience will just make random choices on its own. This is going to be a lot of fun, and probably very few people will die. Let's start by chatting with other players and trying to set up dates. You can only send four messages each night, so use them wisely. Audience's first message is automatically sent to everyone each night, and it shows up here on the screen too. Isn't that fun? Did I mention? 
mention that your secret conversations might be seen by everyone during the dates. My bad. Only 20 seconds left to send your messages. Don't really dally. Okay, time's up. Now, on your device, pick the one person you hope you're going on a date with tonight. I'm closing my 29 eyes. Hey, I know, it's hard to choose. But if you don't pick anyone, you'll be severely penalized. Okay, let's see who everyone tried to date. And if you don't get a date, don't worry. This is just the first night. You didn't pick anyone? I have to institute a heart penalty. <sighs> Wait! Looks like someone had the same idea. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good news for you, sorry. We already know how this will go. Wow, what an exciting first night. Let's see the scoreboard. It looks like you are currently doing the best. And you're doing less so. But you probably already know how scoreboards work. A quick word of warning. Whoever is in the top spot at the end of the second night of dates will have their monster power revealed. And every night after that, you'll do the same for the highest ranking unrevealed monster. Oh, look, it's a full moon tonight. That might affect some of your powers. We all know how this works by now. Message away! If you need to block another player from messaging you, when you hit the info button on their chat screen, you can also find the block button so you won't see their messages.
seconds. Oh, sorry. Time's up. All right, it's time to pick dates again. So, did we learn any useful life lessons the first night? We'll find out. Hey, I know, it's hard to choose. But if you don't pick anyone, you'll be severely penalized. It's date time! <laughs> Don't go yet, there's more! <laughs> nothing ventured, nothing gained. It's not over yet. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be that popular my entire life. Didn't pick anyone, huh? I told you what would happen. <laughs> We know how this is going to end. Let's see if any of that changed the social pecking order. Ooh, things are moving. Don't forget, at the end of each night from now on, the highest ranking secret monster will have their identity revealed. You're in the top spot. Let's see what kind of monster you are. Everyone the mummy dates becomes cursed. Then, so do the players they date. At the end of the game, mummies steal half a heart from every cursed player. But, if everyone has been cursed, then the curse is lifted and no hearts are stolen. You can read that again whenever you want on your device by hitting the info button on their chat screen. The same goes for any monster after they're revealed. Night three. Ooh, full moon fever. Get to messaging. has no messages waiting for responses, they send their messages to me, and I show them to you. Any more seconds? Okay, time's up. Once again, it's time to pick your date. I haven't felt this nervous since I ate Cleveland. Hey, I know, it's hard.
hard to choose. But if you don't pick anyone, you'll be severely penalized. It's date time! It might help to woo people with more than just one message. Stay right there, there's more. You thought that one little message was going to work, huh? Wait, there's another one. I'm glad that finally ended. Uh-oh, the mummy's curse. If you only get one message from someone, they're probably not that into it. Ah, didn't pick a date. We've been over this. Let's see what's what now. Power moves. You're the highest unrevealed player, so let's see it. The mother receives a bonus heart every night their child does not get a date. I still love you, Mom. Night form. Message time. Second morning. Oh, sorry, time's up. All right, it's time to pick dates again. Oh, this is so romantic. Sorry, I'm a bit of a ghoulie ghoul. But if you don't pick anyone, you'll be severely penalized. Let's see the dates. Uh-oh, no dates picked. You know the rules. No date for the child means a bonus heart for the mother. There's another one for you. You 
Looks like someone else wanted in on that action and failed. Let's see if that changed any of the standings. Definitely saw some movement in there. Time to see your monster power. Ventriloquist touches! Sad people love puppets. The ventriloquist puppet gets a bonus heart every time they date someone that was rejected the night before. Night five. Uh oh, full moon tonight. Get to messaging. Seconds left. Okay, time's up. Once again, it's time to pick your date. I'm keeping my mandible cross for everyone to do well. It's hard to choose, but if you don't pick anyone, you'll be severely penalized. Okay, let's see him. Ah, didn't pick a date. I told you what would happen. Oh. No date for the child means a bonus heart for the mother. It might help to woo people with more than just one message. Stay right there, there's more. <laughs> we know this ends badly. What a gunner! if any of that changed the social pecking order. Well, 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 some stuff definitely happened there. Time for another reveal. Leprechaun! Everyone who dates an unrevealed leprechaun gets two fake hearts. When the leprechaun is revealed, that's right now, all fake hearts disappear. At this moment, leprechauns get one bonus heart for every player that drops in the rankings. Oh. <laughs>
Bonus hearts for the leprechaun for players dropping in the rankings. It's our last night together. Make it count. And you get two hearts for dating tonight instead of one because it's such a special night. Last night. Yes, it's true. It's Message time. lining up hoping to be next. Let's see. Ouch, neither of you. Didn't pick anyone, huh? We've been over this. What a gunner. No date for the child means a bonus heart for the mother. How this is going to end. <laughs> Let's see the almost final standings. One last thing, it's time for the after party. Time to reveal any remaining hidden monster powers. Okay, let's see your secrets. Glob. Every time the Glob successfully dates three new players, its heart tally doubles. Werewolf. On a full moon, werewolves get a bonus heart for dating and then turn their date into a werewolf. But if a werewolf is rejected on a full moon, they lose half a heart. Monster Hunter! At the end of the game, the Monster Hunter gets a bonus heart for every time they date the monster type they've secretly been told to hunt. Time to tally up any after-party bonus hearts. Time to see who received the mummy's curse. Don't forget, the mummy steals half a heart from all the cursed players unless they can break the curse by spreading it to everyone. Didn't quite break the curse. Oh, 
Let's see if anybody became a werewolf. Nobody, huh? Wow. Werewolf doesn't get any bonus hearts for that, but it's just fun to know, right? Who is the monster hunter hunting this whole time? The leprechaun, who they never did successfully date. Sorry, monster hunter. How does that affect the final standings? 